Well, one of the other strategies we're looking at at cleaning up diesel engines has to do with idling. There's certainly not quite an old wives, maybe an old trucker's tale about you need to leave the engine running all the time, it's bad to turn it off. And in fact, I've heard of one guy who was proudly said that from the time he bought his truck to the time he sold it, he never turned it off. So even though he'd be home on the weekends, it'd be running all the time. The technology on these diesel engines have improved such that that's really no longer the case. You really need to shut them down. In fact, you're wasting fuel and, and costing yourself money by keeping these engines running. But in some circumstances, it's really challenging to find an alternative. For instance, look, look at these long-haul truck drivers. Some of these guys are on the road for three weeks at a time, and they, make, they don't make very much money, so they can't afford to stay in motels, so they live in their truck. And it's really not reasonable for us to tell him to not idle his truck to run his air conditioner when he's sitting in 110 degree heat somewhere, or he's conversely to run his heater when he's sitting in a place where it's getting down below freezing. Much less that he's living in the truck, he wants to be able to watch TV and run his microwave and run a refrigerator and do all these other things. Those are all reasonable uh, expectations. So the, the challenge for us is being able to provide a more efficient way to provide the power for those uh, essential activities than running a 400 horsepower engine at high idle because that's a very inefficient way to generate that kind of power. So one of the techniques is actually to install a smaller engine on board the vehicle that will power a generator that will actually is um, instead of burning a gallon of fuel an hour to do all that might burn say a cup of fuel an hour to do that and consequently there's much fewer emissions as well. The anti-idling truck project we call Everybody Wins what we did, we borrowed money from the Department of Energy, the Oregon Department of Energy, and we go ahead and buy anti-idling devices and finance them to the trucking industry through a long-term lease. So uh, owner operators and small fleets is mostly um, what we've done so far. The program is outlined with a goal of 100 APUs to be installed, and it requires no money down and uh, allows the operators to enter into a, uh, a money-saving situation as soon as that APU is on their truck. The APU has just made the job so much easier, so much more comfortable. We have a constant temperature thermostat control when the truck's parked. In 60 days, we've already saved over $1,800 in just 60 days. And that's the first 60 days I kept track. I mean, every day that adds to the bottom line. Every day we shut the truck off and start the, the APU, the Pro Heat way. It's putting money back in our pocket. Plus it's saving the environment, it's saving less fuel. Instead of burning a gallon and a half of fuel an hour, we're burning a pint. It actually saves three to four hundred dollars a month in fuel, and the average price is about one hundred sixty dollars a month for a unit. So they're in a good, better position from day one, and we are encouraging the use of the addition of a shore power connection as well. <laughs> 